Hi everybody, today we're making a do-it-yourself ombre lip balm. So I'm really into other countries' beauty products. Right now I especially like Korean beauty products. Yes, they are very trendy. The other day I came across something that I needed to have. I'm gonna put a picture of the lipstick right here, the one that's inspiring this video today. So as you can see there, it's a split lipstick lip balm kind of thing. One side is a deep berry stain color and the other is just a clear color. And this is because a huge trend in Korean beauty, as you probably know, is having dark lipstick at the inside of your mouth, kind of like I have on right now. So I'm gonna pop a few pictures of that in here so you know what I'm talking about in case you've never seen it before. So what we've made today is sitting right here and it's actually really cool. I'm kind of super proud of myself because I completely made this up on my own. So, you know. At least I've never seen this anywhere and trust, I looked for it. To start off with, of course, you're gonna need a few things. If I have control over it, I really like to keep these DIYs as simple as possible and incorporate as many things as I think you probably have around your house. So first, you're just gonna grab some dark lipsticks. I personally chose some dark raspberry colors, but you can make it any dark color you'd like. Purple, orange, red, anything will work. Next, you need a completely clear lip balm. You need some duct tape, which sounds really weird, but trust me, Trust me, I figured something cool out. You're gonna need a heat safe dish or bowl, some Q-tips, an empty lip balm container. Mine is just an old Burt's Bees one and that's all you need. Now, first things first, we're just gonna clean out our old lip balm container. All that really entails is just taking a Q-tip and getting all the product you can out of the container. This is where the duct tape comes in. So I couldn't really think of any other way to do this, so bear with me. You know, it's not one of those perfect Pinterest DIYs, but I promise you, it does turn out to be a really cute end product. We're gonna take our duct tape and tape exactly half across the inside of the lip balm. This is just gonna serve as a barrier for our first color, so we wanna get this really reinforced because we're gonna be pouring hot, melted lipstick into this. After I taped across, I wrapped around small pieces of duct tape until I felt like it was really secure. Just make sure with this you don't go over halfway because it'll be really hard to pour your mixture in if you do. Now, if you've ever watched any of my DIYs before, you'll know that I like to mix up my own colors. At this point, I cut different pieces off of a few different lipstick colors. At the end there, I also decided to add a hot pink color just for a little a little more pop. And like I said, you can just, you can make anything here. You can make it shimmery, you can make it matte, you can make it red, orange, pink, purple, blue, any color you want. So come up with your own little mixture and put it in your heat safe bowl. Now just pop this in the microwave. Microwave this in increments. You don't wanna overheat it. If you overheat it, it will ruin the lipstick. I know that because I've done that before. <laughs> it gets like boily and weird it's burnt okay i think you get the gist so just keep an eye 30 seconds at a time for me it took about 50 seconds all in all give it a bit of a stir and use an oven mitt to pull it out of the microwave even though i never do it because you know me like wild times over here all right now that your mixture is melted we're going to very carefully take this out of the microwave sit our lip balm with the taped barrier parallel to the counter so you're kind of creating a little dish right and you're just gonna pour your lipstick into the small opening between the tape and the lip balm container. It took effort to make this look graceful, so don't expect. This is edited, obviously. It's not a graceful DIY at this point. Just pour it in there, it's kind of messy. Put a paper towel down, you're done. I would call this the most difficult part of this DIY because you have to kind of look into the tube and get it as flat as you can. If your lip balm has a little twist up peg in the middle of it like mine did, you're gonna wanna meet that little twist peg. It, it's a perfect halfway point. You might need to re-microwave your lipstick because it might solidify while you're doing this. It just, it takes a little time, it takes a little fuss. So no problem, re-microwave it if it solidifies. Now we're gonna let this set on its belly for a minute. Just don't jostle it around. You really wanna keep that halfway point where it should be. It really doesn't take that long to, for it to start to solidify. Even if you're impatient, you shouldn't have a problem. Once it does start to harden a bit, you're gonna put this in your freezer. And in the meantime, Clean out your heat safe bowl, which is pretty messy because you're just dealing with a whole bunch of melty lipstick. There's no way around it kind of, but mm, I'm sorry.
Once you've done that, cut a few pieces off your clear lip balm and put it in that container. Microwave your clear lip balm for about 45 seconds and pour it into the other half of the lip balm container. And after you've done that, let it sit, don't touch, no touchy for a minute. Since I'm impatient, I put it back in the freezer so I could use it sooner. When you do pull it out of the freezer, twist the balm up a tiny bit, take a really sharp knife, and cut the excess messy portion of the lip balm off. This just makes it look more profesh, really. And it makes it work better as an ombre lip balm. So now that you've done all that, all that's left is to try it. A little heads up about this, if you do want to get the ombre effect, you can only swipe sideways with this. Otherwise the color mixes in with the clear and it's just a plain old lip balm and none of your work mattered really. If you do do that though, you can always clean it off and no harm, no foul. But the way you're really supposed to use this is one direction, one swipe with the dark point at the inside of your lip. Flip it over for the top lip and keep the dark point at the inside of your lip again. The only thing that I worry about when I do this little ombre lip is getting it on my teeth. Oh, yeah, had a little on my teeth. Okay, okay. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. This is something I really wanted to share with you guys because I just kind of made it up on my own and I'm kind of super excited about it. As far as I know, nobody has done this yet as a DIY. I really think this is a fun, flattering makeup trend. It kind of just looks like you've had a popsicle in the summer. It's just really pretty and a little bit different. And uh, you know, thumbs up, you can subscribe. I'd love to have you, but you know all that stuff. So I don't really need to tell you something you're already sick of hearing, do I? If you have any videos you wanna see, leave it in the comments below. And of course, if you have any questions, I have no problem answering them to the best of my abilities. And you can come back next week for another DIY video. Maybe even one you suggested. I hope you're having a great week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.